everybody, I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of Not So Buried Challenge Blue Generation. Thank you guys all for your sweet comments in the last part. I did ask you guys last time if you'd be comfortable with our girl River aging up. A lot of people said yes, but a lot of people still wanted her to stay in high school. I put it to a vote on our Patreon and Patreon was like almost split down the middle. It was like 55% wanted her to stay in high school and 45% wanted her to age up. My gut is telling me I'm just ready for a change. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one more episode of us in high school. It's gonna be this episode. And then next episode, we're gonna age everybody up and graduate early and kind of move on with the challenge. So that's what's gonna happen. The Barry family, we're vibing. We're having a good time. My little sister's aged up. A lot of you guys were big Robin fans and endure the fact that she is evil, which is hilarious. Some of you think that because she's evil, she should want her own room. I love that. But before we get started, if you're new here or maybe you've been watching for a long time but haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My goal is 1 million subscribers and we only have 98,000 subscribers to go. So if you wanna join the Danger Fam, I would love to have you. Let's hop in and make a few quick adjustments to the room layout. Here's our, our bedroom. We got Robin's bed and then this is Ivy's tower. Literally. Really, Ivy hasn't been in this tower in bajillions of years. No one ever uses it. It's just kind of a room up here. So I kind of thought it would be funny. I mean, it looks, it has this like creepy little singular window. It has like a little secret entrance. I just feel like it's a perfect evil layer. I know it's tiny, but she's just a little girl. I don't think she'll care. It is all green, but I do think that that kind of vibes with our girl Robin's aesthetic, to be honest. I feel like this might be good for her. Be like one of these. I think we're gonna go with these pink beaded window hangings here. I kind of want them up higher. Yeah, perfect. We might, I might change the colors of some of these objects. The neon dreams can be a different color. There you go. That's great. We can make it yellow or red. The red's wild. This is so funny to me. She's just got the oddest bedroom and I love it. I'm trying to figure out what creepy lighting we could do. Ooh, these ones could be cool. Oh yeah. I totally see that kind of given the right vibe. I don't like the bright tones of it all. But I like this like purple and green and pink kind of look together. I think it's fun. I mean, I don't know if I need to change anything. Maybe this like little rug we could change out for something more fun. I know they have like these ones that are fun. Wait, what a random rug. I kind of love that. We got like a little side table here. Oh, she probably needs like a nightlight for she is a kid. You know, she would eat monsters for breakfast, but girl deserves her own nightlight. I love making them super tiny. So they remind me of like the ones that you just plug into the wall. There you go, Robin. You got your own room. You can jam out to some tunes and watch over people and judge them. It's gonna be great. Now they each have their own room. It is a pretty big room that these two have and she has this tiny room, but remind yourself that she elected to have that room. She argued that she wanted it. And of course the youngest children are hanging out in their sister's bedroom. So River's asleep downstairs. River, why don't you go to bed? And we're gonna take this portrait, maybe put it up and put on her bedside table, her portrait with her boyfriend because he's the ride or die. They've been replaced, okay? She still has it out, but it's like behind some stuff. Actually, we'll put it where? Be like back here. Yeah, I love that. It's like behind the portrait of Vincent here. I love that. Robin's just sitting, singing to herself, bopping in her sister's room. Why don't you go sit up in your own bedroom, Robin? See how you like it. See, now she's gonna go through her secret entrance, through the secret door, go up her little ladder up into her room. Oh my God, look at the privacy. It's Royal coming upstairs. I think Royal's even gonna come up to see her. Look at them hanging out in her little room. This is so sweet. I feel like she might want some more toys up here. Honestly, I would kill for this room as a kid. I wouldn't care that it was small. We could always put Loft the bed because it's a really tall room too. So a Lofted bed would make a lot of sense in here. Are they fighting? What an offensive conversation. Kids, you apologize to each other. Is it because your sister is is evil. Is she trying to pick fights with you? They're up very early. I don't know if you guys need to like 
eat. Looks like she does. She wants to make an enemy from being evil. Our artistic king and Robin's more of like the whiz kid. She wants to like play chess and stuff. Royal's like visiting her cause he's like, I kind of miss you in my room. He's working on his creativity on his own, but they can always play together. Like this will kind of also turn into a playroom for both of them until he becomes a teen, of course. But I have a feeling they'll be mostly besties for a while. Robin's having some cereal. She didn't like one of her brother's jokes and that's probably why they got in a fight. Mom's taking out the garbage. Everyone's kind of started their day. We'll just kind of wait for River until her energy is fixed from prom last night. And she got into that huge fight with her best friend. I think she might try to go out with her friends today, maybe like get some coffees and discuss the fight because she's probably feeling real insecure about their friendship. In terms of her requirements of photography, we definitely need to take some more photos. I love the kids down here. Oh God. Okay, our girl is sick. She She's feeling confident even though she's sick. Why don't you go take a nap? Well, actually, why don't you drink? I think it's like you drink water and then you go take a nap in The Sims and that's like one way to kind of combat a cold. Oh, Robin likes silly behavior. I love how close these two are. They're too funny. Okay, she's like sleeping till noon. Classic teenage move here. Girl, I'm, I'm waking you up. We need to get some stuff done, girl, okay? She's got her A student. She's average. We have completed our homework already. Thank goodness. Hopefully they're all feeling better after the very sad episode last time where they've lost their cat. You guys have been great about suggesting pets in the last few episodes. I know I've been asking for a while. Let's cook ourselves baconing cupcakes. Let's do instead some fish and chips. That sounds kind of yummy. She's, oh no, I just, I impulsively filled the the pet bowl. So I was like, our pet will need it. I forgot that our sweet baby's gone. Oh wow, she's feeling quite inspired and chatting with her mom and texting probably her boyfriend. Robin's in the living room playing with her brother. I love that she just cooks single servings and just cooks for herself. It does not include her parents or her family members at all. We're level eight of cooking. So doing pretty well, enjoying the process. She's feeling very inspired. Next we're gonna go and we're gonna go ask our friends to hang out. We're gonna ask our besties, Brielle and Paige to meet us. Hopefully they accept. She's a little nervous. She had to stall while she, before she was calling. Everyone is coming with you. Yes. We're going to go hang out with our girls at the cool thrift store place that we tend to go to. Hopefully make up and take some photos together. Okay, we have arrived as usual. There's a lot of interesting fashion. It's poetry night, of course. Let's give them hugs and be like, hi. She can't hug her, interesting. Maybe like pick a little area to sit together and chat outside since we're not vibing this poetry contest that's going on. Paige is feeling a little tense. I don't blame her. We're gonna have a smooth apology to Paige who Sook's really mad at, oh, she keeps getting up. She's mad and she keeps getting up but then she came back around. We are having some engaging stories. She's very uncomfortable. Do you just need to pee? I'm gonna chew her needs so she's happy. Paige looks still mad and unimpressed. She's definitely gossiping about some people and being mean. And so because she's gonna do that, we're also gonna gossip. They're having fun, having their little gossips. Adelaide Barry, are we related? Oh my God, Adelaide's like, hi, I think we're related. And we're like, no, we're not. Maybe we should do kind of like a scoff at discomfort. Be like, ugh, like, why are you talking to us? Oh my gosh, and one of my friends just left and got a book. And now some other girl is sitting here. Maybe we should yell at Carol. We're gonna tell her to go away. Oh, thank goodness, she already left. So why do these people keep sitting next to me? Go away. Oh no, is she okay? Why is she crying? We're gonna try to brighten her day. Kinda seems like she's going through some teenage drama here. Brave about growing up, be like, I cannot wait to grow up. I want to have kids and get married, go into my career as soon as possible. She is kind of cold. So let's change her outfit. Oh, it looks like Paige does not like this guy who is giving her the eye. She's like, ew. Maybe we can get like a photo, all three of us together. Let's see. And let's take a picture with Brielle and Paige. Come with us all together. Also, one of you guys said that last episode, she like played her violin on her first date with her boyfriend, Vincent, and he like, failed and she felt insecure about it. And so it maybe he told everybody about the violin thing so that they would all play violin to like tell her that they liked her as she was and things like that. I think that's so 
cute that they would like do all the violin thing together. Are you guys coming? Why are you guys not, hello? No, you guys are not leaving. Why can't I take my photos? I just want one photo. Okay, okay, it's going this way. Perfect, all right, let's take a photo with, why can't I take a photo with my friends? I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> So annoying. All right, let's just take a photo, I guess. And I guess the girls will be here not posing for us. We're just taking some slice of life stuff. Oh, we need to ask them to like hang out with us, apparently. And now I can take a photo with them. Are they gonna get together for this photo, please? All right, one more time, one last chance. And this is glitching, again. I literally hate the photography requirement right now. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I hate it. I've given up, you guys can leave. This is over. It's literally 11.30 on a school night and I'm still out here trying to take stupid photos. I wish there was another way to do photography. Part of me thinks I don't wanna do it. I'm just gonna skip that and I don't care. I feel like I already lost the challenge in a way because one of my sims died. Over this, over this. Why don't you go do your some extra credit work and go to bed? Royals, I don't know what he's up to. Did you do your homework? You did. He actually is a uh, playing instrument for five hours. Okay. And draw all five picture types on an activity table. So why don't we have you some draw? And Robin, you want to play chess. I don't think we have chess on this lot. So let's buy a chess table for you. Maybe we can put it over here where this random wedding arch was for so long. Get a little nice one, you know? Like, why not? Why not get a nice one? They're pretty well off, this family. I'll tell you that. There's a little chess table right there. <gasps> My game just crashed. Did it? I doubt it saved. I wish it would automatically save when you like leave different locations. This is tragic. No matter what day we are starting this game, all of that happened in the lore, okay? She went out with her friends and they were very frustrating and annoying. That did not change. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm so annoyed. I wish I had a cheat to move forward today. I also will have to upgrade Robin's bedroom again. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Her bedroom is back. River's once again sleepy. I'm going to just have them all go to bed right now. So I guess we'll go and redo tomorrow, but we're not talking to our friends. We will be doing something else. Robin's scared of the dark. She heard loud noises under her bed. There's a monster because I forgot to do the stupid monster thing, but that's okay. You know what? I want her to like talk to it. Is she trying already? She's already trying to talk to it. It's worth it for my game to crash just for this moment where she's like, yeah, I feel great. Robin just made friends with the monster under her bed. She can't wait to find out more about it. I'm gonna read under my covers now. We're gonna hang out. I refuse to add the light. I want the monster to stay. Robin would agree with me. All right, our boy is hungry. He's gonna go get some food. Oh, but Robin's scared again. Looming dread from a fear of the dark. How do we combat a fear of the dark? I don't think she should be afraid of the dark, to be honest, because she already became besties. So I love that her empathy is just so low. She has a neutral borderline bad reputation. <laughs> Can we like get some rewards and remove the fear? Fear be gone. Yep. Needs to have a fear to drink this potion. Oh, she doesn't have a fear. I think she had a fear, but then conquered it immediately. But she it still made, gave her the heebie-jeebies a little bit. So maybe he should come up here and sit with his sister and chat. Or no, she's coming down. You guys can hang out in this room together. Here, dad, why don't we calm our, our daughter down? Be like, hey, little nugget, what's going on? Nope, she's chatting with her brother instead. She's running around the house being like, guys, it was so scary, but also thrilling. They just became good friends. We're zooming through the interactions here with the kids because I'm waiting for my main girl to wake up. And once again, I have a feeling she's gonna sleep until noon. Oh my God, who is this? Briley Bowen. Does Briley know anyone in this household? Why is this stranger in my home? I think you should go. What is going on, Sims? She's like, move little bro, get out of this room. Uh, Simmons calling. Oh yeah, Aspen's calling. I love how Aspen 
husband always wants to hang out and chat. Let's take a shower. Aspirin spread some juicy gossip over a river. What did he tell her? Oh my gosh, he obviously got some tea last time he talked to River about herself and her life and is tattling to her mom about it. And we're gonna cook again. Let's do an omelet. It's lunch, but she's having brunch in this day versus the last time. And I feel like nothing happened in this episode and I'm a little bitter. Robin and Royal are having a sing-off right now, which is very cute. I'm assuming that mom is asking Ro River about her personal life since she heard all the tea from her brother. She finished up everything. Her needs are great. River, what are we gonna do with you? You're just chilling. Maybe she should go to the dog park with her boyfriend and like kind of look at all the dogs and be like, oh, maybe we should get a dog together when we graduate. And maybe they they like discuss moving in together because graduation's coming up. In the next episode, I'm gonna have them graduate. So we're going with our boyfriend, Rindleton Bay Dog Park. Maybe we'll take photos of the dogs. Here we are with our boyfriend. Give him a sweet talk since it's raining as usual. Maybe they like the rain, you know? They get to have a nice little rainy day date. Although I bet there will be less puppies at the dog park in the rain. Oh! That's my mom's ex, Violet Green. Oh, and look at that. That's my, how are we related again? I always forget if that's my mom's brother or my mom's uncle. It's my mom's brother. Oh, she has two brothers. I forgot she has two redheaded brothers. I literally always get confused because I think Quentin is like the son of Aspen, but that's not true. So she has two uncles and this is one of our uncles. I'm so glad I looked that up because I actually forgot. She's gonna take some photos. Maybe take some photos of her boyfriend, Vincent, her favorite subject. She also sees all these kids playing and it's like, I wanna be a mom. And I think Vincent will be such a good dad. Oh God. You know, at the dog park, I didn't think there'd be naked men bathing and uh, oh my God, the naked man is in the background of the photo of my boyfriend. And so is the werewolf who's running around a dog park like it's his own. Oh God, you can't zoom in anymore. Otherwise we're taking photos of my, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm sorry, Vincent. I'm not gonna make you the subject of my photos anymore. This tree is the subject of my photos now. No naked men in that tree. Hopefully our, our skill is going up. Oh my gosh, we maxed out photography. It's only five levels. I thought, wow. We did it guys, yes! One of you said that exchange promise rings is glitched. Otherwise I would have them do that. But apparently sometimes if you do this, you can't get engaged, which makes me a little nervous. So probably won't do that then. Oh my God, why is this man? He saw us kissing and came right up right up to us with this look. That is concerning. I am concerned. Kindly step off. Are you the guy that was showering naked around children, no less? I think you should leave. This is actually concerning. Let's get away from this man. Let's have a deep conversation with our boyfriend about the future and how we're going to, oh God, don't, don't, don't go near him. Rude introduction and ask him to go away. Not a fan. No, we're saying rude no. We're saying hard pass. How about bye? Goodbye, sir. Leave me be. Okay, thank you. Let's become best friends forever with my boyfriend. They're so in love. Look at them. They have so adoration. Growing closer from spending quality time. You are my favorite. They're so in love. They even added another one. Deeply connected. Discuss the best violinist because now he's showing an interest in her passion for violin that she got from her dad. This man is still here. I literally am deleting the sim. He's flipping me out. I don't like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Goodbye. <gasps> Wait, there's a dog. Can we meet the dog? I think this is someone's dog. Ginger, can we do a cautious introduction? This is what we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, the dog intros. Where's the dog going? <gasps> Wait, there's some more dogs over here though. Let's go, I guess, introduce ourselves to them. I wanna pet a dog. I think I have one job. If I do nothing else in this silly episode, we're gonna pet a dog. Toki is not disinterested. Oh, she's such a dog girl. We're gonna give him a little treat and say you're such a good puppo. This dog's just watching like, okay, I guess he might be okay. Toki doesn't seem like a stray. I think Toki's owner's around here somewhere. So we can't adopt Toki because it is not labeled stray. Where did my boyfriend go? 
did he leave? Is this him? There he is. He didn't leave, Vincent. Go hold his hands. Be like, one day we'll come to this park together. Running through the rain. Should we make out in the rain? I think we should. They're making out in the rain. She does want to make out with Vincent. Maybe we sit together and do that. It says, oh my God, is this what making out is like? Oh, she wants to hold his hands. This is cute. We're going to do both of these. Very romantic. Love that for her. It's almost too much mm -hmm's for me. She's starting to get tired. So why don't we say goodbye? Let's profess our undying love. Be like, this was so fun. We didn't meet as many dogs as I was hoped. And the park was 100% creepier than I expected. Okay, bye. I love you. All right, we're home. And I think it's time for everybody to go to bed. Bed. It's 10 o'clock. I'm trying to get everyone into a routine. Look at this, this kind of mini me, except for the evil version. <laughs> My little chaos gremlin here, Robin. <laughs> Good night, everybody. No one wake up. Stay asleep. 2 a.m. Our boy wakes up scared. Oh, he saw a monster under his bed. But there's a nightlight right here. Bro, what the heck? And it's the correct one. It's the defender one. All right, dad is gonna wake up and spray the monsters under your bed for you and give you a little comfort and then go back to bed, I think. Dad's on the way, Royal. Don't worry about it. Don't wake your sister up. We're gonna console you. Come here, Royal. See, Royal? I have very impressive powers to dissuade monsters. Let's not wake up your sister. Oh, they're just so cute. <laughs> My OTP. Okay, are you calm now? Let's have dad read you to bed, okay? Nope, he's gonna go take a bath. Well, that's awkward because your dad was gonna put you to sleep. And my aunt's here and the whole family's waking up. This is so annoying. I want you all to stay asleep. And uh, Bailey's like, I should go now. Either way, we're gonna go put Royal to bed and then dad's gonna use the toilet and grab some food and maybe try to go back to sleep. I don't know if we're gonna get to go to school tomorrow. And I wanted to do our last day at school. This video really got away from me ever since my game crashed. <laughs> the morning has begun, it's 6 a.m. River's up, she needs to use the toilet as usual. It's kind of the first thing she tends to want to do in the morning. She's got a routine, our girl, which we love for her. She's gonna go cook some breakfast for herself. What should we cook? I mean, it's breakfast, so probably the omelet again. She, she loves an omelet, that river. You can't make an omelet? Yes, you can. You're being a silly willy. If I could make an omelet, I would be making an omelet. Not the second, but at some point I would be. Can I make an omelet? I think I can make an omelet. Wow. Does that mean I'm level eight? I am definitely not a level eight cooking person. That's for sure. But I, I think I could make an omelet. Is it a perfect omelet? Maybe not. Do you guys care? I don't know. Royal starts school in about an hour. So does Robin. Robin's first day at school. Oh my gosh, sweetie. I hope you make so many enemies. I love this for you. Let's uh, maybe teach to say sorry. Robin likes deep thoughts. Robin seemed to enjoy that conversation with Ivy, especially when they explored more serious thought provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. I feel like Robin and her sister probably wouldn't get along because I feel like River is very much like very into people pleasing, probably a lot better at small talk. Robin's like, I hate small talk. Let's talk about the world ending. <laughs> And mom is trying to teach Robin how to say sorry. It's River's last day at high school, so I'm going to join her this time, especially since we have our grades up and we're an A student. And here we are at Copperdale High School. I love that they appeared back to back, like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith poster, the original one. Oh, her crush is reignited. She's crushing hard on Vincent again. That's so cute. Look at how many sentiments they have together. They're so sweet. Okay, why don't, since they both like working out, I don't know if he'll join us, but he joined me last time. I don't think he is, but this is where they first kind of like started talking and they met was on these machines because she got into running and fitness. She's a big fitness girly. Only we had some headphones. You gotta go to class, get off the machine, get ready for class. She's a little stinky, but not too stinky. So I think it's gonna work out. Ivy's off to work and so is Fletcher. Everyone's doing their thing today. She's just feeling so confident at school ever since she's got her grades up, you know? She's really turned her life around. Okay, class is over. Let's be friendly with the faculty member. Oh, cause it's her last day. Let's compliment her outfit. Be like, I love the color wiki. 
It's her favorite color, it's blue. Also, she's a really cute teacher. Although that skirt's a little short and the, the back's pretty open for being a teacher at school. We're also chatting with Azul, the video, one of your guys' possible Sims that we thought we might seduce and then we didn't. Oh, she wants to watch Lorenzo's funny video. Whatever you want, Lorenzo. I'm trying to get a perfect school day in, so we're gonna be nice to a faculty member. Well, who's the principal? Hello, Principal Arav. Does that not count as being friendly? I was like, I did not see this get fixed, but that's fine. Let's be friendly with our boyfriend. Tell him he looks great today. In his little basketball fit. Oh, she needs a shower. Okay, girl, why don't you go to the bathroom in lieu of a shower and wash your hands, brush your teeth, and apply some facial cleanser. Cause the shower is like all the way downstairs. I think it's gonna take her a minute. So we're gonna go say bye, boyfriend. We left him at the table with our bestie. I'm sure he's trustworthy. I don't know about my bestie though. I, don't, I can't trust her as far as I can throw her. Oh, they seem to be studying together and doing their homework. That's kind of cute. Brushing her teeth, thinking about her life and her choices, you know, maybe reflecting on like, what does she like to do? She loves photography. Should she go into photography? And I feel like she'd be like, no, I don't think I'm good enough. Which is something that happened to me actually. I was interested in going to an artistic field in high school and then totally chickened out my senior year. It worked out in the end. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. She could have freshened up as well in her locker. I forgot about that. I almost never see you in your locker. Look how cute it is. Spraying on her little perfume. At least she's kind of hygiened up so she won't be so stinky. Aw, our boyfriend's behind us. I wish we could pass notes in class like during class or, or do anything during class. We kind of just sit here. And so I will see you guys after class. Ooh, the PA loudly chirps on for some announcements. River doesn't really care to hear about the weather forecast or updates to the school social calendar because she's a senior. She's graduating. She doesn't care anymore. Senioritis, baby. With no lessons going on, now seems like a good time to listen to tunes. Should she listen to me? I feel like if she does this, she's going to slip from her A and I don't want her to do it. But I also think it'd be funny if she's just like, I'm going to put on my metal music. No, I think she'll listen to announcements but you know that little sister, baby sister Robin would 100% be listening to music. Surprising everyone, the announcements had some interesting updates for once and River learned more about her fellow classmates. And there we have it. Royal is done with a B and Robin's still a C student. No one is surprised. River impressed her teachers and learned a lot today. Ivy came home with a bunch of money and so did Fletcher because Ivy and Fletcher are just bosses in their careers. And our girl, it is done with her final day of high school. Yes, everything's happening in the next episode. So I can't wait to see you guys all there for. I hope you guys enjoyed this last kind of day as a, as a teen. I'm really excited for her to like have a family, make mistakes, you know, get her redemption, all that jazz. But we are getting a dog in the next episode. I know we, I teased you guys with the dog. The dog will appear in the next one. So I'll look at your guys' comments in the past about dog names and ideas. And I'll see you guys around the internet very soon. Bye. Bye.